All right, guys, story today. I'm in my bottom 80 acre field right now, and I'm in areas that we could not plant and we're not going to be able to get planted. So I'm on the gator and I'm spraying weeds. Let's walk out here and check these out. And this here is what we're spraying. We've got uh, giant ragweed, some lamb's quarter, uh, of course, mare's tail. So that's what we're killing today. We're gonna spray this area here. I've already outlined this. And we're gonna spray this area right here as much as we can of it. I've been driving through some water and that's, I'm not, I don't wanna to get too muddy today. But we're gonna spray as much of it as we can. We have the booms on the gator. Got them pinned out. So, cause when I'm driving through the weeds the weeds will fold the booms but we're going to get as much of this here sprayed as we can we'd probably use the super coop but we're not going to mud it up either in this so there's oh, i'll run over to the other farm and and uh fill up but uh, we got 10 acres or so that we're going to spray we did get over some of it with the super coop but we're going to spray about 10 acres so i'll have to fill up once maybe a little bit more than that so let's drive through some weeds got my switch down here on the floor just a light old light switch that's how i turn the boom on and off I sprayed this several days ago and now I'm back over here to get some of the places that I couldn't get several days ago because of water laying on it and I ran out so I was over here about two hours ago and I sprayed a tank full and now we're gonna spray another tank full this is what I sprayed a few days ago all oh, this over here that out there in the metal there I just sprayed it just sprayed it uh, oh, a couple hours ago. I can tell, looks like I should be able to tell pretty well where I need to drive and where I don't need to drive. But uh, we'll get out and unfold the booms and spraying with the 825i. Got a boom here on the back. 
The one thing about this boom is just a little spring that holds the the uh, booms from folding back and when we're in tall weeds we latch it down so I had a tarp strap with me taking these things right here and we're putting them through the hole back here now when weeds hit it keeps it from breaking back but yet it's not I'm not going to tear my boom up if I do hit something. There isn't anything out here to hit but tall weeds. No, some of these weeds were almost as tall as the gator. And today we could probably get the super coop back here to do some stuff, but Dad, he's spraying beans with it right now. Got a new camera on right now, so I hope you get to see what I want you to see. But. We're work starting over to my right. We're working our way over this one. <laughs> spraying over here now I came over Friday I think and sprayed a tank full just to see and I ended up having to go around a lot of wet spots out in here but what this is and what I'm spraying is this is the land that we couldn't plant there's uh, about 30 acres in here that we couldn't plant now that over there we were able to get over there and burn that down with a super coop we did that when we sprayed the rest of the field when we sprayed the corn over there and then when we sprayed the beans over here. But all this out in here, I think I sprayed, I think I sprayed it about 16 acres. Maybe, maybe a few more than that. And some of it got sprayed twice. But today when I got over here, I was able to get through almost everywhere except for Oh, right over there, there's some thick, dark weeds. I wasn't able to get through that, and then there's a spot right just to the left of it then that I wasn't able to get through. But the rest of it, we've gotten sprayed now. So I'm pretty happy about this. We will not be back in here to plant. We will not be coming back in here to plant this. It's, it's still too wet to get in here. And that over there that we were able to get in with the super cube, 
might be able to get to it, but I don't think I'm going to bring the planter all the way over here for a couple acres. But the open ditch that we've got here, this is the open ditch that Hurley came in and dug. Goes from the creek up past the bad spots in the tile. As you can see, it's still pouring water. That's almost knee deep in there when I was down in it, walking around in it. We'll go up here and look at the tile running into it. That mud on the gator. Seems to be something that's just gonna always be. Go up here and look at the water coming out of the tile. Nice being able to spray this so when we get in here this late this summer or even late fall it won't be all covered in weeds. You know right here we actually still have water coming across the field. It's coming across here and it's actually running down in there and going down into a hole. But up here the 18 inch tile It's running just about as hard as it can for no better shape than what it is. But I, even though there's all this water on here, I was able to drive through it and spray it. So we're pretty happy about that. All right, we're sitting out here in a spot that was very wet, oh, four days ago. And this is a spot that's been wet ever since I planted it and you can see it's a wet spot because the corn's about half the size of well I guess I haven't shown you some other corn look this way see some. we'll go see some here in a minute but if you look straight over here I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up there's like there's a strip of dark green all the way down to across the field there and then on each side of it is light green clear over to another dark green what those are are the tiles we're actually sitting right on top of a tile right now and to tell you how wet this is is it's taking the groundwater away and it couldn't handle it this fast now all the way down through here i think they're 30 foot each 30 foot apart the tiles are in the field but on over there the corn's real good. It's a real good stand of corn. And right here, if we keep getting sun, some of this will come out of it and it won't be a loss. But it just, that over to my right where you can see the tile, it drained all of that at least over to here. And then where the trees are, There's a driveway that runs up through there and there's actually an open ditch through there also. And then there's two mains that run up the length of that driveway all the way along to it. And that goes clear up to the, the broken down main ditch that we have. Now they don't go into the main ditch. We have them running along the main ditch, but it's just now so I can drive through here. I think yesterday, I couldn't. Now on over on top of the other tiles that are running long ways with the ditch, there's a spot over there still that there's a lot of water. And I don't think we have a problem here. It's just the groundwater's so close and the bugs are terrible out here. We'll go show you some good corn and we'll go check out the beans quick. Nice corn. Corn after corn, no-tilled. Um, uh, this field was in my planting, finishing up planting corn and soybeans video. I was planting in this field in that video. We do have an excellent stand out here. I shot for 34,000 out here and I think we've probably got close to that. Nice even stand out here. Pretty excited. Sometimes it's kind of hard to no-till corn after corn. It doesn't dry out worth a crap. Well, this never dried out. 
and we mudded it in and we had just enough rain to get everything closed up and growing well we're happy about this don't like seeing that we may have to spray this that's a vine right there that will grow and climb up your corn it will spread out on the ground and climb up on your corn and it'll drag your corn down to the ground it'll pull it down Their spots will get so big out in here that when you come through with the corn head, you can't get through them. And you end up losing almost all that corn. So seeing that makes me think we may want to spray this. There was a bunch of that grown out here when we sprayed it. So when I planted this, there was a bunch of that grown out here. And I thought we had majority of it killed, but with the way it's been raining, and now we've had, uh, I think it's close to 90 today. This will be our fifth. 90 degree day if it hits 90 today that stuff this stuff's just growing so fast it's crazy planted uh, just after the field I was just in with uh, when I planted the corn we switched over in this field and we planted these beans and they're growing really great We're sitting here in the end rows right now and everything looks like every one of them grew we'll drive down through them here and I'll show you Thank everybody for watching the show.